Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring ad hoc conferencing on an AS5300 with a provisioning client. The ad hoc conferencing service allows users to join multiple callers into a single line. Up to 20 callers can join an ad hoc conference. Users can initiate the conference call from any client. In today's demo, we will configure ad hoc audio conferencing service configure routable service information for ad hoc conferencing, assign ad hoc conferencing services to a domain, and assign ad hoc conferencing services to a user. We will be starting this demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions on the Avaya Aura application server 5300 release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. We've just logged into the provisioning client and the first thing we need to do to configure the ad hoc conferencing service is create a service. So under services, conferencing, ad hoc conferencing, this opens our ad hoc conferencing portlet. In the portlet we can create a profile name for our ad hoc service and we'll just call it Kevin Testing. And we'll uh, change the number of ports allowed to, uh, let's make it six. Now remember, the more ports you have, the more resources can be used by uh, all the different conferences in, in play. If you want to use vertical service codes, check the checkbox here and click on save to save our profile. And we get a message indicating that the ad hoc profile was saved successfully and we can see it down here in our list. From here we want to configure routable service information. So we click on the ad hoc conferencing tab. The ad hoc conferencing service is based on a mass platform and allows the network to support both ad hoc conferencing and consultative call transfer. So we need to select the domain that we want to apply our service to. We'll just uh, apply it to the ds2autosip1.com domain. Once we've selected our domain, we'll need to select the pool that we want to connect it to. If the user's location is not assigned to any pool, the AS5300 Session Manager also checks the location other for the pool. And show view. And then we can see the added locations and we click on save. And we get a message indicating that ad hoc locations were saved successfully. The next thing we want to do is apply the profile to a domain. So we click on system profile. And then we select the profile Kevin testing and we do assign and remove. And then we select the domain that we want to add it. And we copy. From here we hit save and that will apply the profile to the domain. And we get a message that the profile domain list was saved successfully. From here we want to add the user data. Now I already have the SIP 1037 user load it into my search. Uh, you could type it in here and then click on view. Now this user already has an ad hoc conference profile assigned to them. We're going to change it to the Kevin testing profile which we just added to the domain. And we'll click on save. And we get a message that ad hoc user profile assigned successfully. And that completes assigning the ad hoc profile to the domain and the user. Let's look at the system profile and look at users to verify that we've completed that task. And we can see that the SIP 1037 user is assigned to this profile. In order to uh, remove the profile from the system now, we'll need to re first remove any users that have the profile then remove the profile from the domain and then remove the profile from the system. So the first step, let's go and remove the user. The home menu, user data, 
and then we'll type in the 1037 user click on the view and change the profile to ad hoc profile one save changes and we get a message that the profile assignment was successfully changed and the next thing we'll need to do is remove the profile from the domain so we'll go to system profile we'll go to Kevin testing ad hoc and we'll go assign remove select the domain that we want to remove click on remove then click on save and we get a message that the domain list was saved successfully in other words we had removed the domain that we had assigned now we can click on the delete the profile since this is service affecting we're asked for the admin password and we confirm the password and we get a message that the ad hoc profile was deleted successfully and we can see that it no longer is in the list. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.